Today we will show you how to use the SpO2 sensor or optical pulse oximeter on your Coros Vertex watch. The SpO2 sensor uses an optical sensor in the back of the watch to measure the oxygen carrying hemoglobin in your blood. It does this by emitting and absorbing light through your blood vessels. Although it can measure your SpO2 levels automatically at a rate of once per hour, you can also check it manually by pressing and holding the back button. Use the bezel to scroll to altitude performance and press the bezel. Hold your wrist as still as possible for approximately 30 seconds while it takes a reading. It will give you your blood oxygen saturation percentage here in the middle. While in an activity, the vertex will alert you once you reach 2500 meters and ask if you want to turn on the altitude mode. Once altitude mode is on, the vertex will automatically alert you to check your SpO2 level once your heart rate increases too fast or gets too high based on your personal fitness data that's in the watch. You can manually turn on the altitude mode by pressing System, then More, then Turn On Altitude Mode. Once above 2500 meters, the watch will automatically take a measurement once per hour. You would also get a number here at the top between 0 and 100, which will also correspond to a color of red, yellow, or green. This is your altitude performance level. A number between 0 and 60 in the red means you should consider descending. A number between 61 and 80 in the yellow means you should consider staying put for a while and acclimate to your current elevation. A number between 81 and 100 in the green means you should be able to continue your ascent. Please remember, the reading provided should be used as a guide only, and this is not a medical device and should not be used to diagnose or rule out any medical issues. The user should always pay attention to any signs of altitude sickness they are experiencing and not solely rely on the watch settings. Thanks for watching. For more help, email support at coros.com.